<laughs> You're a good girl. Yes, you are. You got dinner all over your beak. Look at you. And wipe your face off. No kid likes their face wiped. No, they don't. <laughs> you still got some on you. <laughs> Welcome back to another exciting Mail Call Monday. Now, before we start into this thing, um, I've been getting asked a lot the last couple weeks, did you end the Mail Call Monday? No, if I didn't get any mail, then there's no Monday. <laughs> That's just pretty much the way it works. If you'd like to send me mail, hit up duckshit.net up here in the corner. That way you too will know my address. It's posted up there on the website. If I change it, it'll be changed on the website. Duckshit.net, find it, send me mail, I have something for the video. Right, Skeeter? Well, anyway, this week we received a bunch of boxes. We got a um, little package here. We got a bigger package here. We got something from Eastwood. I didn't order anything from them, so I don't know what that is. And this one came from the UK. And I think I know what's inside of this one here. But um, before we get into opening anything, Please leaky likey, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to pluck that dingle belly. That way you get updates every time I upload a video. Once again, duckshit.net. You'll find my address up there. You'll also find all my different social media links. So you'll know how to get in contact with me. That's the other thing that seems to happen. People comment on my videos. How can I get in touch with you? Duckshit.net. All my social media links. It's not like I don't say it. Right, guys? <laughs> Anyways, we'll be back right after the intro. Alright, welcome back everybody to the Monday Mail Call. Let's start with the first one. We got the small package first. This one is from Grant Smith. He actually sent me an email the same day that this arrived. And he said he's a brand new YouTuber, just started watching me. And he sent me something special. He said it's not a big deal, but it's something that's useful. Sure enough, it's some uh, grit cloth. Plumber's open mesh abrasive cloth for cutting edges on two sides. This stuff is incredibly convenient. I have used this stuff before. Um, this is just good to have around the shop. It just really, really is. Thank you very much. Uh, Grant is a plumber. He's, um, where is he from? I think this came from out of the country. Windsor, Ontario. So, yeah, he's a Canadian. <laughs> so there it is. A little bit of plumbing tool for you. Right, Skeeter? All right, next one. What we got? This one is from Richard Kemp. I think he sent this mail before. If not, we know exactly who he is. He comments all the time on our videos, right, Skeeter? Yes, he does. Might even be for you. Who knows? Let's see what we got. All right, first thing, we got a note. We got some Chinese packaged air. All right, what we got? Hey, Duckman, this is for Taco Tuesday from Richard Kemp. Oh, boy, I'm excited now. I'm glad we're opening this up for Monday Mail Call. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. That is absolutely friggin' lutely awesome. A Gregory mug. Wow. I might just be pouring my rum and coke into this one tonight. Wowee. It's not even Taco Tuesday yet, but yeah, you can bet on that. That is awesome. I really appreciate that. Wow. That is just too cool. In fact, this is going to go to the car show with me. I'm going to be very, very careful not to bust it. This is just really nice. A nice frosted glass mug. Not quite a stein, but a mug, and it's um, just got Gregory, and that's just awesome. Thank you so much, Richard. No, I really, really appreciate that one. That is really cool. You want to watch that one? There you go. You take care of it, okay? <laughs> now, there's one box I forgot to pull out earlier. This is actually a really, really good Monday mail call. This one is CIP1. This is our sponsor for Gregory the Bus. If you haven't followed already, CIP1 has uh, sent almost everything for Gregory the Bus. Uh, everything that um, we're working on on that bus. And I mean, you've probably seen the amount of rust damage that it has. And I haven't even really touched the mechanical yet. But we'll get around to that. But CIP1 has just been awesome. This was ordered on a Monday. And it was received on a Wednesday. And I'm on the complete opposite side of the continent. So between CIP1 and uh, that of DHL, the shipper, um, you can't beat them. You just really can't beat them. So let's see what we got in here. I already know what it is. <laughs> now, if you watched yesterday's video up on Duckman Cycles, you'll know that I fit the rear suspension. I also fit on the wheels, and I demonstrated hubcaps. Boom. These are the old vintage look-alike ones 
from um, the early Beatles, I believe it was in 48 and 49, and they had the giant logos. And uh, these are stainless steel, polished stainless steel. No more rust. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to have them. I had to have them, absolutely. So these are going to go on Gregory. Now I have a nice brand new, and I mean, you could just see. And that's a beautiful thing about stainless steel and chrome is, and you probably noticed looking at it, it reflects black. Some other metals don't reflect black quite so well, like aluminum. Black tends to look more bluish. But uh, yeah, this, this is gorgeous. And there's a set of four in here. And I believe that's all we got. I don't think there was anything else. I don't need to pull them all out. But they will be going on Gregory as he goes to the show. Yep, that was it. Just the hubcaps. Four of them. Thank you, CIP1. CIP1, once again, is our sponsor for Gregory the Bus. If you haven't ordered parts from CIP1.com, I recommend them highly, and you need to go up there. So you need to support them because they're supporting us. Thanks a lot, guys. CIP1. All right. What else we got? We got this box. This one is from Eastwood. This is a surprise. I have no idea what it is. It's addressed to the Duck Man, which means I didn't order it because I don't usually address things to myself as the Duck Man. <laughs> Let's see what's in the box. What do you think? Maybe it's for you. I don't know what these people have for ducks, but who knows? Oh man, it's a new welder! Not really. Alright, what is it? Interesting. All right, we got an Eastwood catalog and an Eastwood this. Uh, take $15 off your next off order. That's kind of cool. And this is um, internal frame coating, green colored. It is, is it zinc chromate by any chance? Zinc phosphate. Interesting. Not zinc chromate, but zinc phosphate. So it's a combination between galvanization and that of phosphoric acid I suppose and I guess it has its own chemical reaction of sorts in there. Uh, I'll have to read the MSDS sheet on it to see how exactly it works but this is useful. This will be useful. I don't know who sent this. There's no note in the box unfortunately. I guess Eastwood does a package that way. Um, I think this is the invoice. Yeah it doesn't even say who it was billed to. It did come through Amazon, though, apparently. Amazon then had Eastwood dispatch the shipment. Interesting. Well, whoever sent this to me, thank you very much. I know exactly where this is going to be used. Uh, we'll experiment with it and see if it's any better than anything else we already use. And uh, if we get bored, well, we'll just huff it and get high. No, don't do it. <laughs> this kind of stuff will probably kill you. That will make you high. That'll, that'll, yeah. that'll mess your life up. Right, Skeeter? Oh, look. A little 360 straw, so that way you could put it in the hole in the frame and squirt it up in the, uh, in the heater channels or something. Incredibly convenient. Once again, whoever sent it, thank you very, very much. Here, you can watch that too, okay? Alright, we got one last box. This one, I know what it is. This is something that I ordered. This comes out of the UK, and this is um, something that's solving two problems, and I don't know why. But I've been trying to get these parts from several, several different um, manufacturers here stateside, as well as a couple that are um, out of the country. And for some reason, they just won't get their acts together, they won't take my money, and they won't ship me parts. And I'm not being difficult. Listen, I'm looking for these parts. Can I send you some money and you send them to me, right? Yeah, that's how it goes. Anyway. These guys were nothing but professional. And uh, what we have in here, a very small package. I think this is it. Yep, that's it. Get this out of the way. These are the little swans. He looks just like a swan. This is what's responsible for making the e-brake work in Gregory with the new Porsche brakes that you saw me upgrade yesterday over on that video. In addition to that, I got a second set. Now you say, hey, Duckman, you only have one bus. Why did you get a second set? That's because Eleanor uses the same Porsche brakes and also needed these to finish the e-brake. And that's right. I've been trying to get people to send me these parts for over a year. But finally, I found a different company, and I'm going to advertise them today. So if you need something that uh, you want to talk to some very, very professional people that are going to ship to you very, very quickly, 
The company's name was Transporter House. I will put the uh, URL on the bottom of the video right here. It'll also be down below in the video description. Very, very professional. The parts were shipped to me um, within a couple days, and they were here in less than a week. Jeez, uh, I think he had them here in three days. In addition to that, we got more bits right here, and these are very, very nicely packaged. What this is, and this is something I haven't even started working on Gregory yet, but this is for Gregory's front brakes. This is to get all the Porsche parts mounted up on the front. You can see here's the backing plates that attach the caliper to the uh, spindle. Here's the spacers for the bearings. I don't see an instruction manual in here. That might be a little bit of a concern because I don't know what side to put these things on. Maybe to be self-explanatory when I get it apart. Here's the bolts for mounting the uh, said uh, plates. That's that's important. I mean, some of these guys don't ship with all that stuff. And also the grease caps that cover up the hubs. So I have everything that I need right here to mount my front brakes. Um, that's going to be a slam dunk. I've already got the calipers, which are down below here. Okay, there's Gregory's Porsche calipers. I've also got Gregory's front... Oops, didn't mean to do that. I've also got Gregory's front discs. But they're all right here. I didn't show a, a mail call Monday for this, unfortunately, because I wanted it to be a little bit of a surprise. But nonetheless, now we've got everything we need to do Gregory's front brakes. So that's going to be on the agenda this week. Um, yuck, brake dust. Yeah. Now that we've got the rears uh, set up, the rears are just going to be rolling. They're not going to be working as brakes just yet. I'm not even going to bother installing the e-brakes yet because I still need e-brake cables. And since we're down to the last week before the car show, I don't think I'm going to focus too heavily on making brakes work. I really, really wanted to drive it around at the show. Um, you're probably saying, hey, what kind of engine do you have that runs that you can put in there? Well, a yeah, Volkswagen engine's on bolt real easy. So I was thinking I'd just pull the one out of the uh, Eleanor's chassis and shove it in and just throw a battery in there and do some really, really quick wiring in a small gas can and just have it so I could drive it around the, sh the uh, fairgrounds. But unfortunately, it's just not enough time once again. Just too busy, way too busy. And uh, in fact, there's the uh, transporter house. Check them out, transporterhouse.co.uk. I'm trying to focus my own eyes. <laughs> there it is. Those are the guys you want to get this stuff from. Alex, I believe was his name, the guy who runs the, uh, the company. He, uh, very professional. And the way he's got everything packaged here, you know, he's got these things pre-packaged and ready to go. He's probably got shelves full of these things, which tells me that he mass produces and is very, very good at what he does. These plates are not junk either. These things are solid. Wow, I can't wait to put this together. There will be a video on this one, absolutely. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Once again, really appreciate it. Big things are going to be happening with Gregory this week and next Saturday. Uh, you're going to see this video Monday. So five, six days after this one is released, I will be at the car show with Gregory. And hopefully everything goes well. There's actually a lot of a lot of buses in the class that I registered him for. So I may not come home with a trophy unless they're in pretty rough shape, but I look at some of the photos of their, their cars and they look a lot more done than mine is. So, I don't know, if I come home with a third place or a fourth place trophy, doesn't matter. The fact is, I got it to the show, I demonstrated the car, and I got to show the CIP1 banner while we're there. These guys are awesome! Get parts from CIP1, once again. They support me, you support them. Thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Check out DuckShit.net for all my different social media links. You can also find links to Skeeter's YouTube channel, which we haven't uploaded any videos on recently. No. <laughs> that little girl almost killed herself tonight, too. She did something I've never seen her do. I put her on a sofa while I was making dinner. She usually bounces all around and gets all excited when I'm cooking. I mean, she, she gets totally ridiculous. Well, I turn around and she's gone. I'm looking at the sofa and she's, just, she's not there. And I'm calling and I'm shouting and I don't hear her. And, I, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I figure she bounced off the sofa and fell down behind something. And this, this happens all the time. She's under the coffee table or she's behind the ottoman. So I'm looking at the places she usually would fall and go and she's not there. And, I, and I'm calling her and she's not answering. So I'm starting to get freaked out. So at this point I'm looking behind this sofa, you know, pulling the curtains out and trying to figure out how she would have gotten in these places. And she's not any of these places. So I start pulling up all the blankets on the sofa, all the pillows, and then I find that her tail feathers are sticking out from between the cushion that stands vertically and the cushion that goes horizontally. Her feathers are just kind of sticking up tail. 
sticking up out of there, one of her feet is out, just kind of up backwards. And, yeah. And she's just, just motionless. And I thought she was dead. I honestly thought she was dead. I thought she got in there, suffocated, and died. I was just completely panicked. So I put my hands on her, and I went to pull her out. And you wouldn't believe the amount of force that even me, as a 260-pound human being, had to exert to get that little duck out of that cushion. I don't even know how she got in there. I really have no idea how she did it. But she did it. She was in there. But when I pulled her out, she looked right at me, and she went, back, 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 back. <laughs> just like nothing happened. So anyway, I had the biggest plate of spaghetti that I ever made in my adult life. Uh, and actually, I was still hungry when I was done. Today, I didn't eat at all. I was just so busy working on uh, Gregory-type stuff that I had no time for lunch. So dinner, I pigged out. And guess who got some? That's right. I ended up filling up her whole little... Uh, she's got a dog food bowl. I filled up her dog food bowl with a whole bunch of the, uh, the rigatoni noodles that I was eating, and she just chowed down herself. So she's happy. She's in a good mood. And that's why she's not really loud, because when she eats that much, she can't quack loudly. So that's it for now. So uh, thanks, you guys, for watching. Once again, really appreciate it. Check us out. Social media links. DuckShit.net. Right, Skeeter? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> That's right. Once again, seven foot camera. Check this out. This tripod is great. It's actually looking down at the table and you can still see me. I think this is working out real nicely. Comment. Tell me what you think. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time.